arrived at Monte Grappa. It's great to be here again. Let's go in. All right, good fellas. We are at Monte Grappa and now let's enter. Diana is waiting for us. If you remember last year, we've been here and we've showed you around, but since then, quite a few things have changed. Let's go. Ciao, Diana. Hello. How are you? <laughs> It's amazing to be here again. Nice to have you back. Welcome. Thank you Some so much. Have changed, so uh, I can imagine because it's always happening here at Monte Grappa. Yeah, yeah. Emanuela here. Hello, Emanuela. How are you? She's she's always here at the boutique, right? Yeah, yeah she's here at the boutique. So, Diana, last time we came, you were like totally in the making of this uh, beautiful tour here in your factory. We're obviously not going to show the whole tour because the goal is that all of you good fellas can actually come here and discover it by registering. We're gonna give you the credentials down in the description. Uh, but Diana, tell us, tell us just a bit and maybe show us two, three things uh, that, that we actually can see here at the museum. Tell us what happened in the last year. Well, the last year we've been very busy preparing for the Monte Grappa experience because you know our product is very special and we wanted to show a little bit behind the scenes what happens here at the factory, especially mm -hmm. now that we moved our boutique here because mm -hmm. it was initially in the center of Bassano del Grappa and now we moved it here in, at the factory. So we had this big opportunity to show what's happening on a daily basis and what we're working on and the manufacturing pro process. You know, it's always incredible to see what happens eye to eye. Absolutely. And uh, it's been going very well. So unfortunately, as I said, I cannot show you everything, but something, you know, it's still possible. Fantastic. So. Fantastic. So guys, first of all, when you come here, the light and the feeling overall is just so beautiful. Uh, you really got to take your time whenever you come to Italy make a, a tour over to Verona, Venezia and while you go there you stop at Bassano and, and get the chance to discover this amazing manufacture of fine writing instruments and as you said Diana I think people sometimes are not aware of how much work is behind the making of the pen and it's so beautiful that you guys took the effort to prepare uh, a tour like this for, for all of your customers uh, to actually um, discover how much what they're holding in their hand at the end of the day, right? Fantastic. Sam, so today we're actually getting ready for a big event that we're hosting tomorrow about one of our latest launches. That's the Bijou Toyaju Collection. Amazing. That's been made with a Japanese designer, Tomita Katsuhiko, who will be present at the event tomorrow. Tomorrow. So everything is gonna be completely changed and themed. Be so we're Japanese style. We're gonna show. And I'm just gonna show you a little sneak peek of, of the panel with the Vision of the Yashu collection. That's really beautiful. Yeah, impressive, impressive. Looks like a, a real piece of art. Yeah, so, okay. guys, good fellas, we're gonna show you uh, before and after of the decoration that uh, that you guys are putting your efforts into it. Um, and tomorrow is going to be the event. So this vlog here, I'll make sure that we'll have also the day of tomorrow. So we'll show you also a bit, um, you know, what's going to happen at the event, which is uh, super cool. And that's also why I'm here. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as we were speaking about the Montegraph experience, the first stop is actually the, what we call the passage of creativity that I'm going to show you. Let's go briefly just to give you a, a little touch, you know, of a, a mousse bouche. <laughs> and the passage of creativity really represents what it takes to create a Monte Grappa pen. So we start from an initial draft made of inspirations and designs, and then we wanted to actually put some parts of the pen. So mm -hmm. we have like microfusions over here, Incredible. The brains. And of course, the pen is it's laid as well mm -hmm. with the year and the series and the design. This pen, of course, is the Chaos pen that was designed by Celeste Stallone. Iconic, <laughs> absolutely iconic. iconic. And of course, it's why we put it here because it's an icon. 
So the people actually get the chance when, when they walk here uh, to, to really see uh, the, all the little parts that, that you guys have to manufacture to at the end get this as a result. Exactly, but this is a creative process and uh, we wanted to display it visually uh, because every part of the pen always comes from a concept. Mm -hmm. So this is, these are all the concepts that make the final object. Absolutely. Here we have the alchemist, Salvador Dali, mm -hmm. Creativo. Samurai. The samurai. Perfect. The brain. We're not gonna show too much. You really, Everything. really have to take your time to come here. Yes. I don't wanna like spo to be too much of a spoiler, but still, uh, I think that, that little sneak peek for the people, they're really gonna get interested into visiting yeah, here. Absolutely, really. It's worth it. Fantastic. office let's say yeah this we're... is our atelier where the artists work and we have a painter and engraver mm -hmm. and a gem setter no it's awesome we've been here last time and and to i think most of you have seen the incredible work that yeah. that that is behind like the miniature painting that is done over there or the engraving part that is done done over there the lacquering i think we had shown all of these elements last time but like the, what we have here on the left, this is new. Yeah, this is new. This is the timeline that represents the most significant moments in history, in the history of Bastano del Grappa mm -hmm. and the factory as well. So there's a whole evolution of the history of the brand. Fantastic. All the limited edition that Look created, at this. the evolution of the logo. Oh, super interesting. Yeah. The new brand identity and a little bit about what's coming next. Mm -hmm. not, not you know, you know this one. <laughs> <laughs> People have loved this one. <laughs> yeah. And then the actual production, production facility. Yeah. Exactly, we showed this last time also, amazing. At work on our new designs. And the storage. storage. And here I saw that it looks really different than last yeah, time. This is very different. Can I show this, Adiana? Yeah, this is very important. Look at this. this the fountain pen anatomy. Amazing. Because not everyone knows how many pieces make a fountain pen. True, so true. It's generally about 24, 25 pieces mm -hmm. and we make all of them in house. Incredible. So it's really an incredible work. Even even the feed that is even in uh, feed, Ebonite yeah, in your feeders. which has to be super precise Absolutely. in order to work Absolutely. like it should be and this is super nice. I have not I had not seen this. So here we have resins, we have um, yeah, celluloid have elements, right? Acrylic resins. Acrylic so resins. Here. Then we have wood, wood. precious woods and woods. Montegrafite. Fantastico. Montegrafite, Montegrafite. Si, sí, no, no, no Mon Montegrafite, <laughs> right. Celluloid, of course. Yes, beautiful. Ebonite, which is the same that we use for the feeders. Yeah. Metals. Yes. And then we repeat the whole display. So we start from Celluloid, again and Amazing, yeah. To have this very good. Uh, yeah, guys, very it's beautiful. it's so impressive because we get to see the pens like like you know finished in different materials, but then here finally you get the chance to really appreciate the vast the the vast quantity of materials that Montegrappa is producing uh, in uh, the, uh, and and is then uh, uh, manufacturing uh, in house at the end of the day. Yeah, fantastic. Amazing. Where we make all the engravings and all the personalizations, of course, that go on the pen, on the plaques that we put on our packaging, on the ink bottles. So it's basically where all the info and personalizations happen. Um, and awesome. Yeah, there are always people at work. <laughs> Diana, I have to show him. <laughs> I have to show him. He's absolutely the, the most awesome boss. guy. <laughs> Ciao, Rufus, vieni qua. Vieni qua. But you're so amazing! 
<laughs> okay, Diana. So now. So now we actually are not gonna enter the CNC production because it's very loud. But that's still a big part of our factory work. Yeah. You really get to see how we make the pens and components. So. Perfect. You have to come here to see it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you're going to show us. But I'm gonna show you something that's very, very beautiful to see. That's our museum. Something we've been working on forever, basically. And where you can really see all of our production. So my dog is also barking. Yeah, of course. It's, it's the purpose of a dog. Amazing. I already know he's gonna be super successful in this video. Absolutely, for sure. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. It's incredible. It, 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 like, <laughs> I'm literally speechless, you know, <laughs> about having the chance of discovering all these pieces at once. I will have to take like 20 minutes to, do, to go through all of them, but yeah. incredible. The amount of work of art that you guys have created huh, over the years. Important to say, this is like accepted as a reality, that Giuseppe Aquila, your father, was the inventor of the limited edition. And I have to tell you this, because people will find it interesting, it's not something that you told me, it's not something that Giuseppe has told me, so uh, the, the, that's the cool part about it, but it's other pen makers who actually told me, you know who's the real inventor of the limited edition? It's Giuseppe Aquila, before even other brands that, that did then uh, also nice, very nice uh, series of limited editions. So the importance of Montegrappa as a brand when it comes to, to, the, to the history and to what we have nowadays is, is huge. And uh, I think that's truly an, uh, an awesome, awesome thing. That's an awesome thing, and that's the most uh, successful thing about Montreal. Mm -hmm. Most of our pens are jewels, and it gives us so much more importance to the object itself when it's limited. So it's really, really amazing. And we can go a little bit around. And uh, I think it's important to point out once again one thing. Montegrappa, obviously they have, uh, like, it is somehow an industry, but it's a, it's a manufacturer. So you guys are real, like, artists when it comes to pen making. The pieces are highly complicated to produce. It's not like the, the normal industrial kind of work that you guys do, but it's really like, uh, you know, what Italians are also known for, for creating highly sophisticated and compl complex um, uh, items that might even be polarizing, but exactly that's exactly the reason why people all over the world actually love it. Absolutely. Fantastic, thank you so much for showing us. Uh, have the chance to see our vintage archive. Yeah, this, this we have to quickly yes, show. Absolutely amazing. We have all the ebonite. Ebonite? Pens. Is this celluloid? This you know? Celluloid? No. This is what we were able to find. Yeah. <laughs> This is, this is also celluloid, huh? Yeah. Let me try to go. Because it's, it's special that we can show you this because normally, you know, the tour has a, a, a little price, but that is totally legit. But it's really nice that you guys are giving us the chance to, to show all of these things and here. And if you know our Elmo pen, uh -huh. this is actually the, the, the original packaging of the Elmo mm -hmm. pen. Oh, right. Fantastic. Amazing, Diana. Thank you. Thanks for, for guiding he us here. Now we're going to show you the, the rest of the day, obviously. We're even going for lunch, right? Yeah, let's go for lunch. Now. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Diana, so thank you so much for showing us uh, part of this tour. It's really awesome. I'm sure everyone is going to enjoy. I know you guys have now a lot to do for the preparation of the event, so I'm going to leave you alone to do all your, the work you have to do. If I can help you, let me know, okay? I'll, I'll be, you, I'll be your, your apprentice, okay? okay? <laughs> Thank I you. I actually have something for you. Yeah? The extra custom that you purchased. Oh, oh is, it, is it ready? It's ready for you. It's amazing. But you know what? The, it's here? Yeah, it's can, over here. Thank you so much. Amazing. Let's see. 
but I'm gonna do something. I am not going to um, unpack this now because I'm gonna unpack it directly when I'm gonna film it together with the people that will be watching. So it's gonna be a live unboxing and I can't wait because I'm really happy about that ivory celluloid I have selected. So I can't wait to show everyone. That's great. Fantastic. Um, I have a last question before we leave for today. Can you show us what you have, what you're preparing? You know, yes. what you're assembling right now, like live? All right. Okay. <laughs> Go Diana, show us some beauties. Yeah. You remember this, good fellas? Yeah, we're where last year. Exactly. So, here is the new test for the pens. Exactly. And there is a made by hand or with our robots. Yeah, we remember that. That had a huge success on Instagram. Yeah. With the Something Instagram like reel, was incredible. Every, everyone loves it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Look at this. They are about to assemble. This is pure so work of art. So let's say that every product that passes through our Bastano facility is subjected to the highest levels of know-how yeah. in here. We've seen that with, with also the nip testing that you guys do here. It's really incredible because you have the machine who tests it. You have a, a physical person who then re like fill, uh, fill, fills it up and tests yeah. everything. So that's really awesome. Fantastic. So there's really the spirit of, of, of a human being behind every exactly. single pen. Huh? Exactly. Awesome. What else do you have Let's in the making? See what else we're making. Because it changes every day, really, yeah. depending on what's available. Here we have some Monopoly pens. Oh. The 85th anniversary of Monopoly. This is silver and diamonds. Fantabulous. Look at the diamonds. Amazing. And then I see something down there. There is something special over here. Ah, Age of Discovery. The Age of Discovery. I'm not sure if I can touch no, them yeah, because uh, maybe they are still... You're the boss, so you can... <laughs> yeah, you know, I, they're still, you know, in the process of making, so... This is a very beautiful. beautiful. And then we have here, what is this, the Hemingway? This is the Hemingway Adventure. This is all silver. You know what, that's a pen I truly, truly love. Yeah, it's very beautiful. With, with the elephant in the back? Yes, there's all the animals, it's the really lion. Terrific. I love it. This was a very successful collection. I can imagine. Awesome, and then we have some Zero here. Uh. Oh, this is the Capricorn pen from the Zero Zodiac collection, the which, by Diana, the way, yeah. just launched the Libra, so it's finally ended. Finished. Finished. We have the old Zodiac. You can explain in Italian. I'm sure everyone would appreciate. Which one? <laughs> to, to, if you explain the pen in Italian, you know. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and there's more here. Ah, okay. So there is more Zodiac. This is the Leo, which is in red. Yeah, it's fantastic. very beautiful. This is the limited Fountain edition, pen. which has the engraving on the nib as well. Very nice. This is a gold nib pen, huh? gold nib. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for showing us. Uh, oh, wait, there's I more. There's on. more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, we're at Monte Grappa, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> and even wow, more this here. This is beautiful. This is actually. Espera que te lo pulisco al menos una vez. This pieces, 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 pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it might be. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it might be. But you know, guys, it, it's super real here because that's where the pens get assembled. She's cleaning it. So this is this is where you pen when you buy a Montegrappa pen. That's where it comes from. So it's exactly. This I is love to show this. Sarin, by the way. Hello, Sarin. <laughs> She's going Thank away. you for all the Montegrappas you do. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, we have the old Zodiac over here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Diana, this is what I was really waiting for. This is the only reason you came here, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> but still. <laughs> so still. Wow. <laughs> like, everyone is going to be super jealous about this. Yeah, yeah. Love it. 
perfect gadget for a traveler like you. So. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I love it. Can we do a giveaway of this? Sure. You have one more Why that not? we can give away to one of the viewers? Yes, we do. Okay, then let's do this. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I went back home and now I'm heading to the Montegrappa facility again for the start of the event. Let's go. And it's Friday and I'm back here at Montegrappa. Can't wait for this day. The event is pretty much starting. The designer and the artist is already here. And there's also Giuseppe and Diana. And things are starting really, really soon. And this is what the event will be about. A beautiful bijouterie designed by Tomita Katsuhito. There's an incredible story behind this pens. There's a story that resembles to the Beauty and the Beast, the art of Kintsuga, where you put together the pieces, a story of love. Can't wait. Today is all about making sure that everything is ready for the event. And everything is ready for the event. Look at these beautiful back walls that they have created. So beautiful and inspiring. The amazing kit shop and the trilogy of Dante Alighieri. So, good fellows, let me tell you a little bit about this this item. I'm gonna try to explain you, showing you from here. So, the Bijou Tuyajo is inspired to the Beauty and the Beast's uh, history that is designed uh, and it's designed and conceptualized by the um, designer Tomita Katsuhiko. So, the name of the edition is Bijou Tuyajo, like like already mentioned. You can see the beast on the top, but what's in, uh, impressive is the fact that it represents the Kintsugi art and the pen has all elements of the history of um, the Beauty and the Beast that is then put together. So this is a story of love and of pieces that come back together and the fact that the pieces come back together, you become what you once were even if you got broken. So I think it's an amazing history made by Montegrappa uh, there is this this key here uh, that is the key that the beast left to um, to the beauty when the beauty had to leave in order to visit the father that was that was dying and um, the, the the beast said I'm gonna give you the keys of my treasure because if um, you, it doesn't matter if you're gonna come back or you're, you're not gonna come back, you will have the keys of my treasure. Obviously, if she wouldn't have come back after a week, she would have uh, died. That's a bit the history about the beautiful edition. What I would like to show you now is the atelier where they are doing the pen, they're putting the pen together. You know, Kintsugo is the Japanese art of repairing things instead of buying them again. So it's uh, about the beautiful history of that even if we break, we can be put back together. Now, let me show you this beautiful work. Okay, I have to keep on filming with my iPhone because the battery absolutely died. Hello, Diana. <laughs> and um, let me show you what's what's happening here in the atelier. Ooh. Here we go. She's setting it right now. 
and she will be doing now the kintsugi with this special lacquering. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Grazie. And now uh, let me show you the art of engraving. Absolutely. So first of all, you can see the result here. So let me show you the result first. And now I just show you the result. We had already filmed him a few oh, a year ago, exactly a year ago. Look at the precision. Awesome, grazie mille. It's a wrap, guys. This is it. I hope you really enjoyed this two days with me here in Bassano. It's over. Say hi, it's finished. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Don't forget that together we are changing the game.